Hi, I'm Mike Yamache. I'm with Metalcraft Automation Group. I've been in manufacturing for 40 years, and 25 of those years I've been working in specifically with automation. When I first uh, came to Area 419 and met John Addis and the group here, Justin Watson, the goal is to get more spend a lot of time, and to do that, they needed to add automation. Automation's always been very important for us in the shop. We're a shop that does not have a second or third shift. Thinking of adding a second shift or a third shift, you start to lose that connection between producing the product all the way to shipping the product, being in the same environment at the same time, really has pushed us to rely on the automation to do that, keeping the team all together as one unit. In the lathe department, it's been pretty simple to handle that with the bar feeders, and then we even have a cobot, a fanic cobot, uh, loaded in one of the lathes. The only machine that we had issues with, where we weren't getting the optimal spindle time, you know, throughout the 24-hour period, was our fifth axis grove machine, and that's where the Robotrex system made sense for us. We bought this machine with automation in mind. We're a very high mix, low volume shop. That makes typical automation a little bit challenging, uh, especially when you're talking about robotics. And we have varying sizes of work pieces from this huge part down to this little part. It becomes pretty difficult to get a lot of runtime out of a robot unless it's a very complex cell. Obviously pallet handling is the most versatile problem for us with pallet handling is we run a lot of aluminum and our cycle times are very short. Getting enough pallets to get us the full 16 hours through the night almost doesn't really exist except in the Robotrex which you could still consider basically a pallet handling system in that you have the base that accepts a vise. In this case the vise is the pallet. One of my favorite things about Robotrex is that you can get up to a four cart system with 42 vices per cart. That's 168 pallets. Even if your cycle times are five minutes, they're gonna get 16 hours to run second and third shift unattended, come in in the morning and have four carts, 168 parts full of finished product. For the most part, this is a turnkey off the shelf product. If we were doing a full cell robot, integration, it, it could be an easy several month process. That was really a big selling point on the Robotrex, how mostly simple it is. All the robot has to do is pick up this one vise. It could care less what is in the vise. That was really a big selling point on the Robotrex. So our customers are really seeing a great ROI with Robotrucks, great impact on their business, you know, being able to get more parts out. Unattended machine time is very valuable to our customers. There's no maintenance, there's no additional things we need to buy for it, it's just ready to go. We don't ever have to calculate that into the ROI as any kind of continuing costs, it's all built in. The, the learning curve was minimal. We were, you know, Metalcraft was great in the training process and the fact that, you know, they came in, they worked with our guys in, in the matter of a day. And I'm not exaggerating that, you know, because of the, the technology crossed over so easily, the team adapted really quick to the system. 100% chance that if we end up needing another Grobe five axis machine, it's gonna have a Robotrex attached to it. Having minimal labor input with maximum you know, parts out of the system is really uh, crucial in helping companies grow and helping them keep their customers happy.